All right, we're back in the office here with JP. Great call with John Parker Wilson and John Parker. Let's talk about this guy named Damian Harris. I think he is a running back that kind of flies under the radar for Alabama. He doesn't always get all the hype. You hear a lot about some of the other guys, especially Bo Scarborough coming in. But Damian Harris has kind of been the unsung hero. 8.1 yards averaging per carry. That's pretty, that's pretty stout. Leads the SEC. What do you think about him and his abilities as a running back? And why is he kind of the, the quiet guy? Yeah, so leading the SEC in rushing right now. 309 yards up to this point in the season. And I think he's kind of flying under the radar a little bit because he is splitting so many carries with not only Bo Scarborough, but also Jalen Hurts, who's second in the league right now in total rushing yards. Bo really came on at the end of last season, but I think Damian, watch him after this Vanderbilt game, seeing his uh, ability to cut back, his vision is unbelievable. He's seeing the, the cutback lanes, seeing where his blockers are leading, where they're taking him and he's breaking a lot of tackles. The offensive line is blocking great, but when he gets to that second level, he's breaking a lot of tackles, and that's where we see these big, long, explosive runs. And what do you think about the overall running game? That was obviously huge for them, 496 yards, the most under Nick Saban since he's been here in 2007. The running, we talked about it last week, it's starting to really pick up, but where do you see this running game really dominating from here on out? Yeah, I think it's the offensive line play is really coming together. After four games now, New guys in new places at the beginning of the year, they're learning how to play together, and we're emphasizing it on offense. We know we're going to go out and we want to run the ball, we want to control the line of scrimmage, not only on offense, but defense. But if you just watch this Vanderbilt game, it's fun to watch the surge that the offensive line had. I mean, they're getting to the second level, the offensive line are blocking linebackers. They control the line of scrimmage from the first play to the very last play, and that's really good momentum to carry for the rest of the years, especially as we get into the meat of the SEC schedule. And JP, my last question for you. We had a lot of freshmen. We've seen a lot of freshmen cycling and out, not necessarily starting for Alabama, but up to 15 guys have touched the football this year. Pretty impressive. What are your thoughts on getting these young guys in early and being able to play? So I think that's one of the key to Coach Saban's success is recruiting really good guys, but a, a word he uses a lot is development. You develop these guys by getting them live reps, live bullets in games, being on the road, SEC game. These are something they can take with them for the rest of their career. So getting these young guys in the mix, getting them playing early, you know, it makes them hungry at practice. Catch one ball, you go to practice, you run the routes a little bit harder. You block a little a bit point. longer. So it's just getting these guys going, developing it, and Coach Saban, his staff, does, does a better job than anybody. Great call.